Hello everybody and welcome to another video covering the Oceana pack. So a few screenshots have been arriving over the course of the last few days just showing us some of the animals that we haven't really gotten good looks at and um, yeah just a bit of the scenery too so um, without wasting any more time let's get straight into it. So this is our first screenshot um, showing a few huts in a little village. So you can see that one down there is a veterinary surgery. We can see a few of the new plants um, as well. So the silver fern there, um, a few other new kinds of ferns too. Um, what looks to be, I think that's meant to be a pandanus palm. I can't quite tell. Um, that's the one with the long uh, gray trunk there. Uh, with the bristly leaves that's that's sort of what i'm thinking it is we've got those small dune bushes down at the base of the silver fern um and yeah that other mysterious plant i haven't um found out what what it is yet but you can see that with the various scenery items in this pack you can make all sorts of um unique cultural buildings you know, like you can even make a an actual um, staircase out of that. That's really cool. Um, you got the multicolor, um, well, the flexi color, I should say, um, wooden posts as well, as well as some of the thatch pieces, some of the netting, the ropes. Although I think those ropes are from the uh, main Planet Zoo set. I uh, got the new fences acting as sort of railing for the building there, some thatch walls as well. Yeah, it's a very diverse pack in terms of the scenery that's part of it. Um, very substantial, and I'm really looking forward to building with it. We can also see some of the volcanic rocks um, as well. On to my favourite screenshot, the Tasmanian Devil seeing it do its iconic gape. Um, yeah, it looks it looks fantastic, like down to the nails, the ears, and now we can see it with his mouth wide open. And I'm looking forward to hearing those um, devilish calls uh, throughout my zoos. And if you are too, they'll certainly get this pack because the Tasmanian Devil um, adds a very cool ambience to your pack, to your pack, to the to your zoos. I mean, um, you can also see some of the silver ferns in the background, the pandanus palm, what looks to be some new grass, uh, so some beach grass and. Um, there's a few other ferns too, but overall the Tasmanian Devil is my star of the pack. And yeah, it looks fantastic in this beautiful screenshot. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait until this pack's out. It looks cool. <laughs> um, the next, next screenshot we have showcases um, more of the new scenery. So these are the new Tiki statues. Um, there seem to be various kinds, and they are multicolor, uh, flexicolor as well. And um, yeah, they're going to be very cool to build with, just creating sort of like a a jungle passageway. Um, you just have, have all these tiki statues popping up every corner that the guests walk down. You can also see the silver ferns again, and various other new plants. Yeah, looking very cool. Next screenshot, we see the spectacle flying fox inside of the walkthrough exhibit. I can I can tell it's a walkthrough exhibit because if you look right at the back of behind the last bat, you can see sort of the mesh um, of the walkthrough exhibit. So that's how like the bats will stay in, of course. Um, but yeah, the spectacle flying fox being the most unexpected animal that we got in the pack is still a great animal to get because they are Australia's most beautiful bat um, due to their bright colors at least that's my personal opinion um, yeah they, they look they look very nice I love the detail on the veins in the wings and the finger bones all looking pretty cool 
You can also see more of those volcanic rocks. I think they they are taking the shape of like the regular rock set. I don't know, but um, I'm honestly not too fast. The rock set is very versatile, and you can make it look like whatever you want given the right tools. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say on this screenshot. But um, yeah, Spectacle Flying Fox is looking spot on to me. Our next shot shows um, sort of like a, a place that makes the canoes. Um, as well as the surfboards. Almost reminds you of Surf's Up. I uh, don't know if you've seen that movie or not, but um, just a table bench there looks like where you carve a surfboard um, in that movie. And it looks like we got some new eucalyptus. New eucalyptus trees in the back. Oh no, that's a rainbow eucalyptus, sorry. <laughs> um, I forgot that that's actually part of the base game. Um, I think. I would assume it was, because like it's right there, and then then you'd be assuming that you would require the Australia pack just for this, just for this um, pack alone, to make it feel Oceana. I mean, of course, there's a lot of quintessential plants part of that pack, but um, Oceana's got a, a few more different plants here. But um, you can see more of the beach grass, um, the sail of a ship, well, a boat. A canoe um, you can see some netting some new ropes um, various new palms around although those are the acai palms um, standing up there so those aren't new but I can see some Nakao palms around yeah it's all looking very good our next animal is the quokka so this is the one animal that we didn't get a look at before in the trailer but now we get a good look at it and as someone who has seen quokkas various times um it is spot on right down to the rat like tail and the variation in color so you got um some orange ones down on the on the shoreline there near the canoe you can also see the quokka statue um behind them and we've got this gray one in the front now gr gray quokkas are more a mainland ver version of the quokka, but um, the brown ones are the ones you generally find on Rottnest Island. I could be completely wrong, and they and the variation doesn't matter where they're found, but um, that's what what I'm looking at here. Now um, we can see various silver ferns, different palms, and yeah, lots of cool vegetation around these quokkas. Really looking forward to building a habitat for these guys, and if we do eventually get it. Um, we could get the short beaked echidna at some point in the game. Quokkas and short beaked echidnas have often been housed together. So that would that's a way you could possibly use the quokka in your zoo is put them with other animals. Um, quokkas can also go very well with wombats and koalas. So um, yeah, just a thought there if you wanted to have more than just quokkas in the habitat, you could add um, a wombat or a... Um, or a koala, or you just add the koalas and put the quokkas in under them. That's the plan there. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do when it comes to the zoo build, which will be Oceana themed. So using all animals from the Oceana region um, as best I can. Um, so those would be uh, the koala, the saltwater crocodile, the dingo, the southern cassowary, the red kangaroo, Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard, Eastern Brown Snake, Common Death Adder, Giant Burrow and Cockroach, um, the Platypus, the Common Wombat, the Emu, the Redneck Wallaby, um, the Tasmanian Devil, the North Island Brown Kiwi, Quokka, Little Blue Penguin, and the Spectacle Flying Fox. So I think that's about 18 animals from the Oceana region now. Very good roster, like two more wouldn't hurt. Um, and those would ideally be the echidna and the tree kangaroo. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm looking at for the Oceana roster. Um, and our last screenshot is of the little blue penguin. Um, they look fantastic, by the way. Uh, I've seen little penguins too in real life, and given their representation overseas, um, you guys have probably seen little penguins too. So, um, yeah, I love the variation here and the bright blue coloration. Uh, I believe these are meant to be the New Zealand species. So, um, I think that's Eudicula minor, um, which, would be, which would be the one found in New Zealand. 
as the Eudipula Novae Hollandiae is the Australian version, which is a bit darker um, in coloration. But these bright blue ones, they are the little blue penguin. Um, I mean, you can you can call them that yourself, but scientifically they're called little penguins, so not um, little blue penguin. I mean, the, it's a nickname, but um, and a common one at that, but not the official name. But more than the blue we can see, we can see the little chick there um, in its per perfect brown coloration. Um, but we also get a piebald version of the little blue penguin. These um, I have not seen, but they they do exist. I know they have. I know they do exist. Actually, I, have I seen one? I can't recall. Like I almost feel like when I went to Taronga Zoo in Sydney one time, I saw the little penguins, and I felt one was um, a bit whiter in coloration. I can't quite remember, but um, yeah, that'll be a nice little variation to have there. And of course, the king penguin from the aquatic pack is getting a bit more variation too. Um, I wouldn't expect the African penguin to have too much variation. I haven't really heard of any color morphs um, for that species, but king penguin I certainly have. And we are getting melanistic, leucistic, brown, and xenthic. I tried looking up what they what they all look like. Um, I couldn't really find a straight one for xenthic, but or a brown, but um, yeah, we'll have to see what they look like. But um, yeah, that will have to be all for this video. The kiwi and um, the what, whatever kind of scenery they're going to show alongside it, that will be shown tomorrow, I would assume. But um, we've, we've seen plenty of the kiwi in the trailer alone and um, with its own screenshots and its appearance on the key art for the DLC. So kiwi, we already know what it looks like and how it sounds, how it runs. We know all that now. So I'm not going <laughs> to hold this video off um, for an animal we've seen probably the most of. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of these screenshots and the animals of the pack down in the comments down, eh, down below. Um, yeah, like, like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more because the Oceana pack is coming out very soon and I will be doing a park build with all Oceana creatures and, yeah, I'm going to be in my element for that one. So, yeah, look forward to that, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.